All right, guys, so this is the CLA 45S shooting brake. I will show you everything, but I need to repark uh, this car. Change the dynamic select here or here on the steering wheel. You can put this in different uh, driving modes. So I wanted to show you how you can start this. And apparently it doesn't have a motion start, uh, I was told. is when you hold the pedal when you start the car so it went to 1900 rpms and it's quite loud this EQC we don't want to do that so uh, so far really nice drive <laughs> And yeah, it's quite uh, like meaty this, this sound, you can hear, also you hear the, uh, the AC and the heating, but uh, yeah, really nice, uh, like meatier sound, I would say. Okay, so I want to film also the exhaust, so let's do that now. So this is the key fob, a black key fob, I hope you can see it. I will show you in a second as well. So, really nice. Hello guys, Ivan here. And this is the CLA 45S, the most powerful CLA ever made and it has the most powerful two-cylinder engine in the world. In specific, this is a shooting brake, so I don't think this is available in the US, but uh, yeah, other than the boot space, it's the same than the CLA Coupe. So from the functional standpoint, maybe it's slightly different, but uh, like in terms of the driving because of the bigger uh, mass in the rear, but not like uh, you would need to go like crazy to notice the difference and back to back in each car. So I would say they are uh, a lot similar. So if you're considering the CLA Coupe, which is only possible to buy in the US, then uh, you can check this review as well and a lot of things will be uh, similar so yeah guys uh, i just wanted to mention that so here we are looking at the polar white i also filmed the a45s with the digital white which is like uh, off white i would say it's like a little bit green uh, not green a little bit gray and uh, a little bit white and this is let me check again yeah, this is uh, polar white, no metallic flakes in the paint. Solid color, polar white. And we have also here the night package, which gives you a black accents. I think you can get also aerodynamic package for this vehicle. And this one, it seems it doesn't have. It gives you additional like bits, plastic uh, in the black color in the front. But even like this, it looks really nice, I would say and we have different front bumper to the 35 version and obviously from technical standpoint it's uh, massively different from visual it's also different so the shoot team brake is like a coupe and uh, estate together that's why it's not called the estate but it's called uh, the shooting brake i will turn uh, the car around in a second i will show you the rear just a sneak peek so uh, yeah it's more sloping so it's like a hybrid of the coupe and estate, which I think it's uh, good if you want uh, additional like a uh, luggage space and yeah, it's more uh, family friendly, I would say, in terms of the boot space and it doesn't look uh, like, a, like a classic estate, right? It looks more uh, aerodynamic 
because of the sloping roof and more, uh, I don't know, more better actually, <laughs> better than estate because not many people like estate cars and they are trying to make them to look uh, as good as possible. So yeah, these LED lights are not flickering, that's a different frame rate on the, on the camera. So you have here the two LED stripes, one on the up and one on the, in the corner. And we have also the multi-beam LED headlights, which I will film on my car, how they look in the night, they look amazing and they cut out ongoing traffic here also one of these beams it has like a three uh, beam segments light segments they flash here i think and then you can see better in the corner because i i noticed that when i go slowly into the corners so this uh, stripe is like a 3d you can see that really really nice uh, light design that's the same on the coupe as well so uh, i would say to the b uh, B-pillar is the same like coupe and then it's a different design. So you can see also these two power domes and they are also on the A-class uh, A45, only A45. Here it's on every uh, CLA, also on the 35, CLA 35 AMG. One thing I want to show is uh, obviously AMG specific grill and this front bumper it's called like A-shape, you can see it's like an A, a letter A, really really cool design these like vents in the bumper the right one is not functional and the le only the left one is functional because there is uh, air intake to the engine you can see here this is functional and the right one is not and the middle is also functional you can see it here there is a mesh and behind it is the inter intercooler uh, obviously here as well so you can see the 360 cameras in this car and the sensor obviously AMG badge on the right side as always one thing I want to mention uh, these uh, fenders in front of the vehicle in front uh, wheels on the CLA coupe and CLA shooting brake they are the same obviously and they look uh, like more rounded on the A-class hatchback I just filmed it like uh, 10 minutes ago uh, I can see a different the transition between the fender and like a bonnet is more like a racing yeah you can see like more uh, one more line there so here it's more like uh, elegant so that's one uh, little uh, difference so I think both a class and uh, CLA are gorgeous value money performance a class is the best I would say uh, CLA45S is more stylish and the uh, shooting brake is more the most practical so these are the alloy wheels in a matte black with like chrome lip around them so this uh, car comes with the Pirelli Pallet Sport 4S tires Michelin which are amazing tires and the tire size is 255, 35, 19 255, 35 19 inch so the same size in front and the rear and when I filmed the A-class it has a 245 so half an inch uh, wider tires on the CLA so you can see how this tire sticks out so they stick a lot out from the body you can see here on the rear and also the front ones so they pushed the wheels as far as possible out to the, towards the outside uh, so yeah you have more stability and you can see this car is really like here is a uh, one part of the roof and here it's a uh, side of the vehicle and it's really white so it sits really nicely on the road and the presence of this car is uh, just fantastic you can see these lines on the sunshine and these power domes so i think that's it in in uh, terms of the design I want to show you the engine bay now. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at the most powerful four-cylinder four-cylinder series production engine in the world. And yeah, it's here sitting nicely on the sun, sun bathing. So this is M139 uh, engine code. This is successor to the M133 
and it is 2 liter 4 cylinder engine it's highly different to the predecessor actually it's turning uh, the engine is turned around there uh, its axis 180 degrees so basically forward of the engine is backward and etc so this allows the engine to move it as uh, close to the rear of the engine bay as possible for better dynamics and for this for the sloping uh, bonnet roof design or the sloping bonnet hood design of the front of the vehicle we can see the large turbocharger and the 45S version uh, has a power output of 310 kilowatts, which is 421 uh, horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque. The pound feet of torque I will put on the screen, and uh, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4 seconds. That's uh, 62 miles per hour. And top speed is uh, 270 kilometers per hour, which is uh, 180, 168. Uh, miles per hour. You have a heat shield around the turbo and basically the exhaust is in the front so it's uh, forwarded from the front to the rear. This engine is handcrafted uh, by this person. Uh, I cannot read the first name. This is West Hofer, I think. Only the four cylinder, this one and uh, the V8 and the V12 are hand built in a Falterbach. The other engines in 43 or 35 are not handcrafted, hand built. So yeah, yeah, if you want handcrafted engine, either this or V8 or V12. Just wanted to mention that. For the torsion rigidity, you have here this uh, bar with nice AMG logo, and the engine cover has like a carbon decor. So these four lines mean that this engine is four cylinder in line, four cylinder. You can see better now the frame rate is correct. You can see better uh, these uh, LED daylights. They are gorgeous in my opinion. You have uh, black mirrors because of the night package and also window trim is black. But the door handles, they stay chrome. And yeah, I think it's a gorgeous design. Now I want to turn around uh, the vehicle so you can see that uh, from the rear. Also here is a signature Daimler, Gottlieb Daimler. Okay guys, so I turn it, the monster, around. We can see now the shooting brake from the rear. And I think this is the best looking shooting brake slash estate vehicle in a compact segment in the world. That's my personal opinion. So it's really gorgeous in my opinion and you can easily buy that instead of the C-Class because the size of the of this CLA is uh, like a C-Class basically. So the sloping roof design with the estate nicely combined and it's ideal for uh, practicality, family, basically one car for everything and that's why I think this car has this specific purpose that you only need this vehicle and you don't need other cars because everything is here family car and also the car for driving dynamics so this opening is very, very sleek you have four exhaust pipes which are rounded and they are uh, black because of the night package they have nice AMG logos and the diffuser is also uh, black. I think with the aerodynamic package you have also diffuser in the lower part, so it's like uh, more aggressive. And we have also these uh, parts here, like black, other other plastic. And uh, yeah, the spoiler here is uh, looks like this. This lip, two and a half inches, I would say, like seven, eight centimeters. So it's not small. It's like elegant, elegant, decent, and yeah, that's my conclusion for the spoiler. You have also these aerodynamic parts, which come also on the AMG line, and they uh, can help to airflow of the car. They can help the air flow through the rear of the car better, and uh, you have better, less drag you have. 
and here you can see the tire pressure and also the maximum speed this is for the winter tires so you have here a pressure in uh, uh, KPA and PSI and this car requires 98 or 95 in emergency so 98 or more octane and uh, the best would be 100 or more you have also the panoramic roof which ends like in the middle and then you have uh, the body color here so it really has a, a nice white stance this vehicle and I really like it looking at it uh, right now so you can see how wide this car is so it's really something else so guys talking about the practicality we can check out now at the boot space and you can open in here with the key fob and it's electric so this is uh, larger than the predecessor and it's more wide this opening 23.6 centimeters wider than the previous CLI shooting brake and that's because uh, the lights are cut out here and part of the light is on the on the door so that's the main reason for this opening being large and this vehicle gains also 10 liters of the boot space from the predecessor so now it has 505 liters so I'm not sure this is manual yes this is manual okay so you can close this so nobody can see what you have in the boot and if you want to open it then just it says here press so if you press it will open so it's like that and uh, you can see these are really large for uh, for the doors so you can see a cockpit here I will show you that in a second so really uh, great I think you can put here a trolley for the baby and luggage so for this reason I think this is a useful car and that's why I think uh, this will sell here more and that's why I think they ordered this one and hopefully uh, the CLA Coupe will come here uh, uh, as well later so for the practical it's a little bit more expensive like 600 euros so that's nothing considering this price of this vehicle so I think it's uh, this is more uh, more smart to buy uh, this variant over the coupe but coupe is, is looks better so a little bit uh, you need to choose what you want practicality with a very nice design or uh, less practical with exceptional uh, stylish design so you have also the rear wiper here on the shooting brake on the CLA you don't have because it would be horrendous and ugly so uh, that's also a thing to mention and in the rear we can see the CLA 45S the badge and on the left side it's uh, AMG and you can open the boot also if you press here the badge it will open as well so uh, yeah uh, that's that we can close it and underneath the badge there is actually the camera a rear camera so it's always a uh, clean this camera and that's uh, fantastic what's up guys Ivan here and this is the Mercedes AMG CLA 45S and this is the key fob to this vehicle it's a black key fob AMG and this color is matte and this is called the Zyno Mountain Grey Magno which is only Magno color for this model of the CLA and here we have the top engine variant which is the 45S so this looks simply Magnificent many people refer to this as to the baby GT four-door and we have a four-door here actually so we can compare The silhouette is similar the size is of course different But yeah, we can call that many mini GT four-door overall It's uh, it has some similarities, but overall obviously this is a 
wider car and is different but the wipe is the same we can see this car has power domes on the bonnet here also the GT4 door has MG specific grille and the bumper is very similar with the A shape front apron the front lip is in high gloss black and here the intake on the left side is functional on the right side is uh, not functional and in the middle is also functional the MG specific grille looks fantastic on this car it has horizontal bars so we can see front LED daylight running stripes this car also has the multi beam LED which can cut out ongoing traffic etc they are the best lights and as far as I know right now uh, in the US you can have uh, only the 45 only not only but 45 non S variant uh, why I'm not uh, entirely sure so we can see this great shape this car can have also aerodynamic package this one is standard without the aero pack you have this lip here and diffuser with four exhaust pipes if you would have a MG uh, aero package then you would have also here additional diffuser and also this lip on the boot would be longer we have also here the night package the window trim is in black exhaust pipes are rounded they have MG logo on the top and we have four rounded exhaust pipes so personally I think this car looks really good with these exhaust pipes we have also these optional alloy wheels and we can actually check here to turboformatic plus on the front fender and we can see here this paint in the sunshine so it has like a metallic flakes if you look closer but uh, overall it is uh, matte and you can see how the light changes and the sun bounces of this paint so on some parts this is uh, has like a darker and brighter shades so really looks uh, incredible so in this specification here we have a uh, matte black optional wheels I believe these are called cross spoke wheels and we have Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire compound and the tire size is 255 35 19 inch the side skirt is also in black as the window trim but the handles here they remain chrome also the mirrors are black we have here the Gottlieb Daimler name on the windshield and the rear tires have 255 35 19 inch so they are the same size as the as the front no wheelchair wipers on the coupes also here is no because it would look uh, horrendous and these tail lamps they have also great design which is more like a horizontal and because this is now you can see here the separation if you pass here the batch it can open like fully here and you have much wider now like 25 centimeters something like that a lot wider opening here we have here this cover this is uh, like from the dealer and here is tire kit subwoofer and etc on the right side we can see the CLA 45S in the middle of Mercedes and on the left side AMG so if I press here we can check out 
the tire pressure and we can see also top speed to 70 168 miles per hour and these are the tire pressures you should use 98 or more gas 100 in ideal circumstances so yeah this is just magnificent this shape I really like this looks fantastic here is a GT4 door which is, looks even better or similarly better yeah it's uh, yeah, design is subjective but they both look uh, incredible okay so let's open the bonnet so this car has a handcrafted engine from uh, a Falterbach and this is 2.0 liter M139 four cylinder engine so this one produces in the 45 variant 387 horsepower and in the 45s 421 horsepower and this car can sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour in only 4 seconds the torque is 500 newton meters and I showed you the top speed to 70 km per hour we have here torsion bar for additional rigidity here with the MG branding and we can see the turbocharger here as well so this car is inline four cylinder as you can see here four parts and AMG and here is a plaque of the engineer which handcrafted this particular engine and this engine is produced in the Foropo own factory which won the award for the best modernized modern factory in the world basically and it is in Falterbach, home of the AMG, the AMG HQ in uh, Germany. We can also see the heat shield on the left side here and some sounds detoning. Also the engine cover has like a carbon decor there. So the engine is actually turning 180 degrees to the previous engine and that's uh, because it can be now moved as far as back uh, towards the cabin as possible and also uh, because this is the turbocharger closer to the cabin and exhaust manifold is actually in the front so uh, this is revolutionary for the AMG because they have never done this before also there are new piezo, piezo injectors nano slide technology so this car has also higher RPMs so it's more like a naturally aspirated engine, uh, this vehicle, and that's uh, just wonderful. If you hear sound noise, that's because of the Volkswagen lorry. This is live shooting. We have also here a reservoir for the windshield wipers and another coolant. So we can now close the bonnet here. I also want to talk about the rear multi-clutch differential which is on the rear axle so thanks to that you can actually have a drift mode in this vehicle so you can engage the drift mode and then it will send more power to the rear axle but also between the left and the right wheel it will select which wheel needs more power and it can send 100% of the power uh, on that wheel and the result is that uh, the rifting with this car is super easy and uh, super fun. So that's uh, yeah, that's the that's a good result if you ask me. <laughs> and overall, this car is just uh, so nice from the exterior, from the interior. So from every from every aspect, this car is uh, beautiful. It's filled with the technology. It has a handcrafted engine and actually four cylinders have similar sound to the V8 more than the six cylinders and uh, yeah actually when I'm here quickly I want to show you this is the CLA 45S Coupe and I also drove the 45S when I was here last time but in the shooting brake 
which is available only in some markets so it looks like that so it's like a more sportier looking estate basically and uh, power is the same etc so make sure you check out i did three videos driving pov style with this car the power is essentially the same as the coupe and also the handling would be the same maybe i don't know three four percent difference because of the rear but not a big difference so i just wanted to mention that i will drive the coupe as soon as it will be possible for that reason but you can check out that video and driving will, will be similar i'm sure maybe on the racetrack you would feel like the difference but uh, yeah not a huge difference so overall this is uh, a great car